Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is, um, I don't actually know what day it is. It's Thursday, um, the something, 6th of January, I think. God, I'm still not, I'm still not quite back to normal after Christmas yet. Um, so yeah, so if you follow our Facebook page, you will know that we have, Leah has chicken pox. Um, so, Ben, ben went back to work yesterday, but he's actually working from home today. So I've popped out to the chemist to see what I can get for her because I went to the supermarkets last night for shopping and they didn't have anything in either supermarket, not even calamine lotion. So I've come down to the chemist because when the, so the older seven, we think have had chicken pox. Um, there's a little bit of a debate around Toby, but I remember Elizabeth and Olivia both had it. So Elizabeth was two and Olivia was about six months old because it was Elizabeth's second birthday when she got it. And then Olivia got it like a week or two later. Um, and they were both, so they were both quite tiny when they had it. And then I remember a lot of them having it together. And I think it was the middle five because Toby would have been there. So he would have been quite small but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure they all had it um but charlotte's had it twice so i don't know whether she picked it up again it's all a bit of a blur i think she picked a cup picked it up again at school so i'm pretty sure that the middle five i know that the older two girls have had it i know definitely that noah's had it because he's got really bad scars from his chicken pox um despite the fact that he never he never even picked them bless him um but they were so deep um he's got quite a lot of scars from them uh and i know that, that isabel's had them and i know that charlotte's had them twice and eva i'm pretty sure she had them and i think toby had them so anyway i know the four younger ones definitely haven't had them so i'm expecting that um i knew they were going around school at the end of the term just before christmas uh, I didn't actually realise it was a two week incubation period, but that would work out about right with the end of term and um, her coming out with them. So she got up Tuesday, early hours of Tuesday morning, saying that she had a sore throat. Um, so we gave her some cow pole, put her back to bed. She got up in the morning, she seemed fine again. And then Tuesday afternoon, she just didn't seem quite right, she seemed a bit off. And then she had her tea and she didn't eat all her tea, which definitely means there's something wrong if she doesn't eat her food. Um, she came out to the kitchen and I saw a spot on her face and I thought that looks like a chicken pox spot. Um, lifted her top up, her back, she had loads on her back, like a line of eight or nine on her back, some on her tummy. And I thought, yep, yeah, that's definitely chicken pox. Um, so then she went to bed and obviously overnight she gained more and all through the day yesterday they were just popping up and this morning she's got even more bless her on her face and she's got some really she's got some at the on the roof of her mouth and in in the back of her throat which look really sore and she's also got them inside her ears um and like all along her nicker line and just they're all the places it just seems well they're all the places that get really sweaty aren't they and um she's got them in her head as well so in her hair I just feel really sorry for her, bless her, because she's miserable and she's like the worst person to be ill as well because she's um, she's not very good at being ill. So there's quite a lot of, she's not very good at staying still. So when you sort of say to her, you know, you need to rest, because apparently, I didn't actually know this, but apparently you're not supposed to give them ibuprofen when they've got chicken pox because it can flare up um, skin problems. So if it's like chicken pox or something. So we, I don't know whether that's actually true, but I've been told that um i've also been given lots of different advice online when i put it on last night of, of different things that i can try with her so that's that's good to try i tr i think with the older ones i probably just did calamine lotion because there wasn't really much else around you're going back a few years now and there wasn't really much else around whereas now i know there's lots of lots of newer stuff around that maybe because i know calamine was all right for some of them but for some of the other ones it just didn't seem to didn't seem to stop the itching or stop them being sore and um a lot of Leah's look really really sore a lot of her spots bless her I feel really sorry for her um and no doubt in about 
10 days time the other three will get them as well because obviously she's got it at school and it's i think it's two days before the spots come out and then five days until so they all crossed over where they're still contagious so obviously everyone's you know going to get it but then i'd rather get it over and done with while they're all small um excuse the plane going over the overhead i'd rather get it done when and out the way when they're all small because it's much nastier to get when they're older luckily me and ben have both had chicken box i think we both had most things when we were small measles mumps everything else i think pretty much we had everything um because we were like born in the 70s growing up in the 80s so we had everything um so yeah i'm gonna go to the chemist i'm gonna see what i can find for her and take it home and see if it helps her at all bless her just to kind of easily itch in a little bit i'll just put her in her pajamas again because i don't really i just want her to be comfortable and she just seems so uncomfortable bless her so i'm going to go and see what we can get okay so i'll just point out it's freezing it's like three degrees i'm just down in lossy they're doing by the doing the new bridge which i haven't actually seen yet they're not working today but um well at the moment but i think it's gonna be quite cool um we're all on the summer so i've gone with good old-fashioned calamine lotion because they didn't actually have much else in the pharmacy and um i know you can get this is something called virus soothe cream or something now but um sometimes the old things are the best i guess and they did sort of suggest that there is other things you can get but it's it's just taking the uh taking the heat out of it really isn't it so i'm going to go with calamine lotion because i couldn't really get anything else if that doesn't work then i'll have to go through um to elgin either later or tomorrow and um get something different from boots but um we'll give that a go it's bound to help a little bit surely Unfortunately, chickenpox is one of those things that there's not much you can do. It's really, it's just not much you can do. You can give them cow pole because they feel a bit rubbish and just try and take the sting out of some of it and the scratch out of some of it. But other than that, it's just one of those things they've kind of got to ride, ride out. But it's horrible because you can't, um, you can't really help them. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I hate that. I hate not being able to just make it, make it better for them. I think that's just it's just really hard but um she's snuggled up on our bed at the moment I'm trying not to scratch so i'm gonna go home and put some stuff on her spot cover her in it so she'll be white and get on with some bits this morning and i might try and get everybody out for a walk this afternoon because i haven't been out of the house for a couple of days and it really does make a difference. I was feeling quite um, distant yesterday, I guess, because I've got lots of things that need to be done, but obviously Ben was at work. I still got the children at home, so they're still on the Christmas holiday, but Ben's not on his Christmas holiday anymore. We're still all kind of like in, not really sure what day it is mode. Um, they're still trying to enjoy the last bits of their holiday, but the weather's been either, we had stormy weather the other day it was freezing and windy and cold and wet um so we didn't go out and then yesterday obviously Leah was poorly so I couldn't take her out and I didn't want to I didn't think it was fair to leave I mean she would have been fine I could have left her with one of the old ones but um the old two girls have both got revision for their prelims coming up next week they start um and I just don't think it's fair to leave you know the older ones with a poorly one I sometimes might leave an older one with the younger ones if I've got nipped to the shop or something like that or if I've got to take somebody somewhere but um you know because they are sort of 16 and 15 and the twins will be 14 this month and more than capable but I don't like leaving really tiny ones or uh because I'll always take Joseph with me or Agnes and Joseph um I just don't like leaving them with that responsibility it's not that I don't think that they're capable of that responsibility because they are I just know that if something was to happen they would feel eternally terrible about it and so would i and it would be my kind of fault for leaving them do you know what i mean so anyway um i digress so i don't like leaving them with poorly ones because i just don't think it's a, a very fair thing 
to do. So yesterday we stayed in for the day. Um, so I haven't been out for a couple of days. The kids haven't been out for a couple of days and everyone's kind of going a little bit stir crazy. So I'm gonna try and get them all out for a walk this afternoon, even if it's just a quick walk to the beach or just a quick walk somewhere. It's raining at the moment, but it's meant to stop this afternoon. Oh, it's just so cold. Um, so it'll be quick because it's freezing. But just to get out and get some fresh air, it always kind of resets the mind and what well, it does for me anyway, makes me kind of get back a little bit back on track. Um, just have a bit of fresh thinking. And uh, I mean, it's always different in the winter because it is really cold. You know, we spend a lot of time outside in the summer, um, but in the winter it's bitterly cold here. So you can't spend much time, as much as you'd like to. You just can't because it is freezing. Um, and so you don't get out as much as you should in the winter. And sometimes it's so, the weather is so windy and wet and wild, you just couldn't go out. You can't even stand up sometimes. So you do spend a lot more time indoors in the winter and it does kind of, I feel it does have a bit of an effect on, um, on you know everybody's mental health really but i think a walk in the fresh air will do everyone some good especially well, i don't know if lizzie will come but um try and get olivia out a little bit She's, they're kind of stressing about their exams they've got prelims olivia's start well their study leave starts on the 13th and olivia's first exam is on the 13th so but she's had she's had a pretty tough time at school lately um with one thing or another having covid having constant problems with her asthma um having other problems with school and teachers and whatever it means she's missed quite a lot of school um and what she we tried to pick it up and tried to you know help her with, with stuff at home but it's just not been an easy year for her and um she's kind of ended up feeling uh I don't know how to put it really but you know it, it's just like all the work it just stresses or totally stresses out i found this during during covid as well it, it really got on top of her when we were homeschooling and everything she I means she's she, you know she's bright she's clever she's more than capable of doing the work but the demands put on them and you know things said to them maybe by certain not all teachers but by certain ones sometimes um has made her she's quite sensitive and people probably see her she comes across, across as being you know she can be quite brash and quite outspoken but it's all kind of a it's a bit of a front really she's um she's one of those people that if you if you upset her or she feels threatened then she will you know she'll come at you like a lion bless her um but it's a defense mechanism um because really she's quite sensitive and you know deep down i think she's quite worried about her exams because she wants to do well but she knows that she's missed out on a lot and she knows that she's found the past couple of years really really hard and there isn't you know i'm, I'm totally digressing here but there isn't enough mental health support for kids um anyway let alone with the last couple of years and they are just expected to just get on with things and they are kind of brushed off a lot you know oh well they'll get over it or you know they're just kids you know do they really you know do they really struggle and yeah they have they have they've really struggled and some have dealt with it better than others um i feel sorry for any any of the years that have had to do exams during this whole pandemic i mean lizzie's year was the first one you know when we first went into lockdown and she was lucky enough that she'd had you know a good amount before that and she'd done her prelims and she could take her grades from that but you know anyone since is it's just i mean lizzie's got another set of prelims so she's doing her advanced hires now um so she's not actually she's done her nat fives her hires and now her advanced hires without actually ever sitting an exam other than a prelim so you know that's that worries her as well because she's worried about um I've never sat an exam. What what happens when I go to university and I've got to sit an exam? I've never sat one. So she's, you know, what happens if if they cancel the exams again in May because something else happens with the pandemic? It's, it's all so uncertain for them. Um, it's not, I don't feel that it's affected the primary ones so much um, because, and I know it sounds bad, but they will have time to make up. Um, it won't be the same, but they will have that time to make up. And it was much easier homeschooling primary ones than it is secondary i mean i didn't get bad grades at school and neither did ben but you know i went to school like 
30 years ago it's a long time that and plus we're from england obviously so we're from cornwall but we went through the english system and the scottish system is totally different so that's another thing we're trying to get our heads around whether things are wrong or whether it's just a different way of doing it so that's been difficult as well so we can't always be um as much help as maybe we'd want to be because it's done so much so much differently now and um i know it's been difficult for everybody it's been difficult for parents for teachers for students for everybody but there's definitely not been enough emphasis on how this has affected kids mental health um and i see it i see it in i see it in olivia i see it in charlotte um some of the other ones are more resilient and but the ones that struggle more i've i've seen it in them and their fear for doing any kind of schoolwork and their fear for you know getting things wrong when the teacher says well you know you should know this or you know we've done this or you're going to need to know this for your exams and they're like yeah but i haven't learned it and olivia's missed a lot of school so she hasn't learned it um and it's kind of like they get told that well, we're not going to go over it again because you know you should know that and they don't know it and and then they're like well what do i do then do i just you know do i just try and figure it out myself do i just not say anything or it's just so much and um anyway it's been it's been really hard so they've got prelims coming up next week i've been trying to help olivia especially with her english um and i think between me and elizabeth we've kind of made a little bit of headway but she's just so scared of getting it wrong that it's kind of she almost doesn't want to do it because she's scared she might get it wrong um because that's how things have manifested with in her in her class um that's a long story probably not one i'm going to get into right now but um yeah it's not been easy for her so anyway that was nothing to do with chicken pox that was just to do with you know kids in general i'm gonna go home now and uh try and put some calamine on leah and then do some bits and bobs and we'll see you when we go out for a walk oh. it's cold though <laughs> I look like a big dot to dot. And be careful with the sore one. I know. This will dry it up a little bit. That one's really sore, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can't put the one on my hair because you'll get my hair wet. Yeah, I don't know. What are you doing? Putting some cream stuff on, on Leah. <laughs> she looked funny. Stand here in front of me. When you got them, I'll put my hair. I know. I did it, Mummy! Does she look funny? Now we're going to go across and then down the road. Okay, we'll cross over then. Right, so we are out for a walk. It stopped raining, although it looks like it might start raining at any minute. But we're out for a walk. Yeah. Oh, I have a leash. I have a leash. Say hi.
and the rest of us are getting out for a walk. Hey? I made the mistake of um, washing everybody's trainers for school last night. So look, we've got nice, nice white trainers and now they're all going out for a walk and they're getting all dirty again. Maybe I should have left it a little bit. But I thought it'd be a good idea. Come on, come on here. Come on. I thought it'd be a good idea to get them all washed, ready for going back to school. Um, forgetting that we still had like four days of the holiday left. But anyway, at least they've been washed. Come on. Nanny, you got your ears sticking out. Yeah. Now it's got her best oh. shoes on. Just snap the stick on my Okay, right, come on then. So we are gonna go for a walk around just to get out of the house for half an hour. So um the view is always that you can see. It's actually not very windy today. It's cold, but what's up? I'm She's getting a piggyback now. Um, it's cold but it's not windy. But I never tire of that view. I never tire of that view. We're so lucky. We have the most amazing view. And uh, being able to walk down and be so close to the beach is, I love it so much. So um, yeah, we're just tiring them out with a walk. And a um, well, piggyback in Agnes's case. I know it's quite it's quite down. calm today and the tide is right in. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a walk. Poor Leah, she's just covered in white, but it has at least helped helped her spots a little bit. Um stop them looking quite so itchy and angry. So hopefully if I cover her, she had a really bad night last night, she didn't sleep well at all. She kept waking up, kept being sore, um, itchy, just generally really grumpy. And the tired as she got, the worse it was. Keep in darling. Um, keep on the inside. So hopefully if we smother in it tonight, she might get a bit of a better sleep. Um, I think she probably would have liked to get some fresh air, but she's not really well enough. So we're gonna finish our walk and then, yeah, we are walking home now. We walk home and then go home. Livy's got some work to do. I've got some bits to do. Um, so yeah, we're off home. Well, kind of home, but you know, in a big loopy circle. But, So how have you gone today? Right, you're a nice day at work. I have been working from home today and I will be working from home for the next few days, to be Maybe honest. in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I've set up my own little nest in the corner <laughs> where I've got like a, I've got, I, I won't show you because I've got my work laptop there and also, um, yeah, so I've got all my little nest set, in the, set up in the corner and I'm just there, you know, doing a few Skype calls and, and what have you. So yeah, I've got it, got it all rigged up for working from home at the moment because obviously COVID is, uh, it's doing its thing again, isn't it? But um, no, have you had a nice day? It's been right. It's, it's nice to been go okay. out for a walk. And Casper, the ghost upstairs, she, she stayed upstairs. Yeah, at least with you home, I can take the other ones out. Mm -hmm. She's not fit enough. She's not, she can't go out. She can't even put clothes on, bless her. She's in her pyjamas because they're the only thing that she's got that's comfy and loose enough to wear and doesn't dig into her. She's lagged, itchy. she's lagged in calamine. And uh, every time I look at her, she, she's making me itch. You know, you just look at kids and you go, oh God, she's making me You're not itch. You're very good at the sympathy thing. <laughs> the children. I am. No, you're not. Not at 10 o'clock at night, I'm not. You know, I'm like, yeah, you've got to go to sleep. There's, there's two choices. You either go to sleep or you go and sit down the lounge on your, on your own for the rest of the night. You know, you've got two options. So um, it's just, uh, I, I do have sympathy. I just, I've also, sometimes you've just got to be a little bit stern at how you say, look, I know you're poorly. And but you need to go to sleep, or else you're not going to get better. That's kind of where I come in, you know. But anyway, let's hope she gets better quickly, eh? She's seeming a bit better this mm. afternoon. She's seeming a bit. She's brighter. not brighter. I think she's um. The problem was yesterday she couldn't rest because she was itchy and sore. Whereas today she's, I think the calamine has taken the um sting out of it, hasn't it? So it's um. She's, still able, me itch. she's able to uh to rest. 
So she's just been on our bed all day, hasn't she? Yeah, she's she got, has. She's been chilling out. She's, she's got really a little good. nest up in our bed. She's, she's got a cushion really and the TV on and her iPad. So she's she's happy. And there's people up there as well, isn't there? Most of the day. So she's happy up there. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Uh, mainly filmed by Zoe. Yeah? you had a nice time filming today? I haven't, I haven't watched it all yet. This is going to seem weird, but I haven't watched it yet because I'm going to be editing it later. Does that make sense? So I'll be, I'll be watching it all through later. Yeah, it's tea time. Let's, yeah, because it's tea, tea time. time. Yeah, we're very close to tea time now. So, um, I thought I'd cook tonight as well. Yeah. And I'll be editing, so I'll be editing up tonight. Ready, ready to put on. But, um, no, I hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like and a comment. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.